First time he's been able to beat Andron in over a year. Onboard camera on Doug Coletta's car. He comes out to go against Larry Dixon and Alan Avi Racing. Both of these guys are former winners here. Now let's go to Dave Reef for a Lincoln Tech Fix It Pit Report. Classic John Force DSR matchup coming up. Two high, high horsepower cars. You see Robert Hyde's car moving up right now. The diehard car driven by this guy, Matt Hagen. You came in, though, as only the number 11 qualifier. It would seem to everybody else you're struggling. Are you? Well, we definitely got a good race car. We missed it on Friday night, but, you know, Robert, he's he's got a tough car out there. It's going to be a uh, dogfight for sure, but, you know, we just got to go out there and try not to think about it too much, go down the racetrack, and hopefully we can turn the wind light on. Very important for you? Absolutely. They say they are very close to getting back to where they were a year ago. And both these guys on the line, Larry Dixon and Doug Coletta, are winners here. Larry Dixon has two, and Coletta won at Topeka in 2006. Crew chiefs are making the final adjustment. Doug Coletta did not have the lane choice. Boy, that right lane doesn't look quite as good when you get about 300 feet when you're trying to get that clutch application, and that's why so far everybody's been taking that left-hand lane in fuel category when they've had the chance. Cylinder out for Dixon. Yeah, and it's going to be costly. Dixon still will not get a win this year. It's a 390, 306-mile-an-hour pass to a losing 399 for Larry Dixon, and Doug Coletta moves on. Well, you don't see this happen very often with uh, an Allen Abbey card with basically soon as Larry hit the throne, Silver went out very early in the run and just robbed that thing of the horsepower. Doug Collette in this right-hand lane. The best move we've seen in top fuel in the right-hand lane so far today is that 389 by Terry McMillan in the first round. Doug came close, a 390. Luckily for him, with the cylinder out in Larry's car, good enough to move him to the semis. Gary? And at the top end with Tony Schumacher. Take us through a rather interesting ride. That car was going in a lot of different directions. Nah, it was going forward. That's nah. the right direction, man. You know, it's got to get to the stripe, and it's ahead of us. Uh, yeah, it went out there, spun, and, and got awful sideways to the point where you almost don't want to hit it again. I was over near the center, but hey, it is what it is. You know, the, the Army car is going to the third round. We get to run our teammate. One of the DSR cars will go to the final, uh, and, and we're going to have to wait here and see uh, see who gets in there with us. But hey, man, you know, we, we don't have one of those awesome wallies yet. Uh, we're in what's called a drought when you go six races. We've won, you know, we've won more races than anyone in the history of the sport, but it is a drought when you go six races without it. We have two cars left to beat today. The Army is, is marching forward, man. This is great because it was, you know, Armed Forces Day yesterday, uh, Memorial Day next weekend, and, and you know, I drive for the Army. Thanks.